Hello again, this is Chirag and in this video, let's take a look into more list column types in SharePoint. So in part one of adding list columns, we looked into text, integer and reference column types. Let's look at other column types like yes, no, date and time, person or group, hyperlink or picture and calculator column in this video. If you want to add data with true and false values only, then use yes, no column. I have a this employee list. Let's create a yes no column here. And I want to give this column name is this contractor. Choose yes no and here default value yes and no only. So click select no by default. Click OK. And then I have a yes no column. So now you can see I have a is contractor column appears here. Let's fill out some data. So when I try to edit it, it actually shows me a checkbox. So if I select this and save the data, it gives me yes here. See? Okay. And if I remove it back then it removes that so you can see that by default it actually has no value that's why it actually shows you empty but as soon as you edit it and save the record it actually either shows yes or no as a value to store date values create date time column let's say I want to create a higher date column here choose date and time Yes, it's a required field. If you don't, uh, if you don't care about time with the, along with the date, then uh, select date. Otherwise, select date and time. For this one, we will select date. S display format standard versus friendly. Uh, standard displays the date in a standard date format. Otherwise, it will show a friendly name. Let's select friendly name. And you have the default values section here. Now I have a higher date here. If I edit it, then SharePoint will show me this box, but then also show me this icon so that I can select dates from it. So I can select a particular date and then change the year right here in the box and click save. So you can see that the format is a little bit of friendly. Now let's edit some more records. So two thousand and nine save it now what if I want to actually assign some default value so if I go to hire date and say I want to assign a two days date whenever a new record gets created then if I create a new record this time then it will show you today's date in the box automatically if you want to target SharePoint user or SharePoint group in your list create a person or group type column in a list Create column. Let's say I want to add manager for the employee. Each employee, I'm selecting person or group type. And if I go in a, if I look into additional column settings here, I have these options here. So for selection purpose, I can either say I only want to track people, or I also want to track people as well as SharePoint groups. I also have a choice to say I want to actually uh, have the ability to select multiple users or combination of users and groups. I can also do that. Then I have say choose from this particular section says uh, so what happened is that if you select all users here SharePoint queries all the users that are tied to your SharePoint site. Otherwise you have the option to say I only want to uh, give the ability to select group uh, select users from particular SharePoint group so here you can see that I have a drop down here that says these are the groups that are available at this particular site so for this video I'm only uh, selecting all users for now so now I have a manager column here let's say for Maggie King here Ross Taylor is a manager so I want to edit a record 
and then you can see here is that it says enter a name or email address so as soon as I type Ross you can see that SharePoint actually goes into the system and then finds every employee where the the enter text Ross matches with all the employee records so I have a two records here John Ross and Ross Taylor so I'm selecting Ross Taylor and click Save so once I do that I have a Ross Taylor record here and it is clickable so now for for Mark Summers I'm actually editing a record but this time I am selecting myself so if I type Chirag then it, it shows you my my name and then if I hover over it actually shows me uh, that SharePoint is hitting actually the Active Directory to get that record and click Save oops we have a higher date so 2011 you can see that empty it, it knows that you have entered the wrong value so all right so this is the way you use uh, a person or group column type now let's look at more column settings for this one so for manager now let's say I want to target only users from specific group for the selection so for for this demo let's say let's select Contoso intranet members group so let me show you what I meant what what I meant by selecting or targeting a group so what happened is that when in a, in a site you go to site settings and site permissions here and when you go to here are here is the security of the of your current SharePoint site and you have this group Contoso intranet members and I have added two records into this particular group myself and Ross Taylor what will happen if you go to employee and then if you editing this mark summers record this time I'm, I'm removing myself and then if I type Ross now this time SharePoint will only give me one record so remember before that it was giving me actually two records the reason is because I have limited SharePoint I'm telling SharePoint only get records from Contoso intranet members group and that's why it actually gives me this option only and because I'm my record is also added into that group my name will also appear if you type my name okay so one important scenario I see not just one actually there are a few uh, where this particular column type is very important um, like a task list or a calendar where you want to tie the SharePoint record with the actual SharePoint user uh, in those cases you 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 should use uh, SharePoint user or group column type um, now let's take a look at the display format setting so if you go to manager column right now you, you see that show field and there is a drop down it says name with presence what it means is that it the you are instructing SharePoint that display the name of the person and display also that whether the user is online or offline I have this you can see that in the drop down I have this uh, lots of choices to display it. so let's say if I want to um, display title of this particular user right or only the only first name let's say we, we, we are only interested in showing the first name so if I select this and click OK if you go to employees record suddenly the manager column only shows me the first name so this is how you control the appearance of what information you want to expose in the for particular uh, user username or person or group to add links and picture into your SharePoint list create a column with hyperlink or picture column type and for this demo let's select profile picture type and the format of the link will be either hyperlink or a picture select picture for employees list and see we have a new in column here now I have actually another list site collection images where I have some pictures added for for employees for this demo so if I go to this particular picture
copy it i'm copying the link and then going back to employees list and adding this editing this record now here you can see that the profile picture actually shows me two boxes here so first one is is the link i i just copied and second is is some some sort of a short description when i save it it actually shows me the picture here the reason because we selected the picture as the format so that's why sharepoint knows that sharepoint needs to display the picture instead of the the the, the address so if i go here let's say and change back the format for this column from picture to hyperlink it will show the link but the description and and the click actually goes to the actual picture okay so far we looked into list columns where user enters data but what if you need a column where value of the column gets calculated based on other columns in the list so to do that you create a calculated column so for this let's say full name i already have a first name and last name so in the formula box here i give first name actually i select first name like this use n percent the concatenation operator give a space okay n percent and then last name add it to the formula and below this box i have the data type written from this formula is single line of text number currency depends on calculation your formula will give a different type of data so for this particular uh, expression i'm selecting single line of text and once i go to employees list i can see now the full name of each employee the use of calculated columns is not limited to concatenating only uh, text columns but also you can uh, calculate date time columns as well also numbers so here in this particular help page i have see you can see that calculated fit formulas and you can see here lots of options for using calculated functions and how you can use existing list columns and combine them with the functions uh, to generate the desired results there is a one limitation for calculated column is it you can only reference the uh, existing list columns so you cannot combine a list column from other list so this concludes our video thanks for listening bye